I got me a truck, a trailer, and a chainsaw. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. In zero dollars, can we go from zero to 100 million? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome back in everybody. This is episode five on our journey from zero to $100 million. And we got a very long ways to go. Maybe I got like $15,000, but starting to get more stuff here because we are on no man's land. And as you can tell, there was really nothing here before except for some dirt and it's starting to look like some progress. Now, this is not where I want to set up my farm, but this is kind of where I'm setting up my production for right now. And speaking of productions, let's get down there, get some of those production items sold and make some actual money. Best sell time for onions and cucumbers is August and October. Right now we are in, what is this, September? Let me go ahead and speed that time back up. Trying to keep it right around a five time speed. I don't know, try to keep it moving, I guess. So we're in September and for some reason, our sell values right now are higher than what they would be during max value time as in August and October. So hey, let's take advantage of that and go ahead and get those items sold. And they got to sell, sell everything. And I don't have a trailer for that, but it's really not that far. I'll look at that in a second. Let's jump inside here and go ahead and start checking them out. We'll open this up. Let's see here, where is it? Looking for onions and cucumbers. We'll change that from storing to spawn. I guess the easy way to do it would just do uh, selling, right? I could easily get a pallet jack or just use these forks on the front of this tractor to transport one pallet at a time, but I really don't want to do one pallet at a time, mainly because whenever I edit that, I put that number thing up there with the price. I like to show you all each sell. So if I can get all this stuff sold in a larger portion, I would like to do that. And plus they make it easier. And of course, there's going to be some auto load features to the trailer, most likely later on down the road. You know, I need y'all's help. I come over here and I talk to this lady like I'm a crazy person, but I don't know her name. Can someone help me with her name i don't think her name is smoky it says smoky's black book right there i don't think her name's smoky y'all let me know what to name her down in the comments so i actually can refer to her or something there's a trailer i'm end up going with it's some pallet auto load trailer i don't know what that is strutman strutman maybe yeah, it says here it holds eight euro pallets which is great i like that oh wait we got auto load for pallets extreme <laughs> yeah of course i'm doing extreme okay never mind it says holds 24 euro pallets that's nice and i am gonna just go with some random crazy colors like i've been doing this whole time so just threw in some orange and some yellow and we're going to buy this for $9,000. First thing I want to do is see if I can actually pick this up with the equipment I have. I did mention they has regular pallet forks on the front and it looks like it's regular pallet forks. Don't know if it works like regular pallet forks or not. Never actually used this and looks like I'm having some trouble getting inside there. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know why that one's stacked up like that. That's kind of weird. It did that automatically. I did not stack it like that. I've never seen that happen. Maybe I got some mod that allows the production points to stack up or output points to stack up, but it looks like these forks do not work. That's kind of a bummer. I was really hoping it would. Back at the store over here talking to Miss Smokey, right? Maybe that's her last name. Her last name's Smokey. We'll go with that. I'm not going to get anything super special, just a base game. Pallet forks here, $1,700. We will go ahead and buy that. There we go. Looks like these forks actually work in here. I'm really surprised those other ones did not work, and they do stick a little bit out the backside, so I'm able to grab two pallets like that and i mean the reason i'm able to get three pallets now is because for some reason they kind of stacked up there and these are onions we'll go ahead and get this loaded up on here i might just load this whole trailer up myself because it's not going to be full and i don't need it to be perfect i just need to get it over to the sell point and it shouldn't take too long right well change of plans i'm just gonna go ahead and use the auto load portion i think i just come up over here hit the little button b right hey there it goes it's loading up on there nice and neat right kind of i don't know it's doing something working somewhat and i would say that is good right i don't know the straps seem a little weird go ahead and go get this sold off we got 3500 liters of onions 2800 liters of cucumbers i guess these don't come out in perfect 1000 liter capacities pallets or anything like that no big deal though and we'll see how much money they got or well, we'll see how much money we get out of this four thousand four hundred and ninety six dollars that's not bad at all now there's another production out there and somebody did recommend it in one of the comments and i totally forgot all about it but it is the coffee beans production we may be getting that in pretty soon if not this episode but right now we need to make some serious money because that was not enough money. I will go ahead and leave those on spawning right now. Later on today, if I see they come out again, I'll grab them, sell them. But we're only at $8,000. Would be higher if I didn't spend all my money on this trailer and these pallet forks. So I don't know if that was a good deal or not. Either way, we got some trees cut down and I do not have the right forks on here. So let me change those out also. Got pretty much full load of logs right here. And this is all my large trees I have over here in this area that I have been working at, cutting down. Now there's this large one right here on the left that's on the ground. That is a full, full size 130 something meters and i've been going around it just kind of leaving it there for now because i want to drag it over to my sawmill and see how much i get in there just 
from dragging that. And that also brings me to another point of planting some trees. Someone did comment on there saying, hey, plant some oak trees around that production, cut them down, drag them into there. Really easy. They grow the fastest. At least I think it was oak trees. Maybe it's elms. I can't remember. I can go back and look at the comments one day. But this series right here is not one of those where I do read off the comments. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, my other channel, I do have series where I read off the comments. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I totally just drove right by that. But oh, well, let's go ahead and turn around and go this direction, I guess. That is the first time I ever did that. But every now and then I may make a mention to a comment here and there and probably not pop it up there, but just kind of going on off, off what I remember seeing there. Now, I do really appreciate all the tips, tricks, and all that. So keep them coming. Helps out a lot. Let's go ahead and get this sold off right here for $16,776. Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure my sell everything was a higher value. Oh, man, why did I do that? I just sold it to Farm Shop for $1,001. Sell everything is $1,025. Oh, I totally messed that up. And I am out of trees over there. So let's go ahead and grab some trees from somewhere else. You know what? There's a little bit of tall trees left over here. I'll go grab those here in a second. We are over here now close to the shop cutting down some trees. Did end up running out from over there in that area and I needed to get some more trees loaded up before I made this sell. So let's go ahead and head over here to my sell everything and get a better value. Don't know how much more it's going to be. It's not much obviously. We saw the prices earlier and oh my gosh I ran right into that. Totally just destroyed that door on that Connex thing. Oh well. Get that sold off right there for $16,841. Don't even know if that was much more or less or I, I don't know. Not sure if it's worth it or not but we are up to $41,663. That's kind of worth it I would say. Now what do I want to cut down? I'll go ahead and go over here and cut down where these rocks are on my actual property. I changed my mind. We're going to save those for something else. Let's go ahead and head off in this direction here and find some larger trees. Now this is the part I was not looking forward to. Finding these trees further and further away from the cell point and taking more and more time for me to drive over there. But I knew it was going to happen eventually. Maybe I'll get upgraded equipment here. Get a pickup truck or a semi and start upgrading my trailer and everything to kind of get these logs moving back and forth faster. Maybe that will come one day but today's not that day. There we go. It says loading area is full. Unable to load more. With this being a longer trip I want to make sure I actually get everything in there I can. And we'll take a look at this. I can lift this one up by hand so I'm going to go ahead and do that and throw it on top. This is my last little piece over here I got cut down. There we got it loaded up on top there. Not too bad. Works out great. I think I'm going to get some pretty good money for this one right here. I did get some larger logs in there than I normally do. Usually I stick around the 20 meter length trees, if you know what I'm talking about. There are ones that go larger, 30 something meters. They're rounder, they're longer, obviously get more cuts out of it. And I kind of got that here. And this trailer is fuller than it normally is too. So I'm hoping I'm going to be somewhere in the 20,000s whenever I go to sell this off. Selling this off now, and there we go, $20,953. Well, I wasn't thinking low 20,000s. I was thinking more in the mids, but it's over 20,000, I guess. <laughs> I wasn't wrong there. Looks like I got a couple pallets over here at the greenhouse i'm gonna go ahead and pick those up get those sold off also i'll switch out the trailers use the auto load function of it i ain't gonna worry about switching out the head on this right now i don't see any point in that i guess when i say head i meant the forks i have the pallet forks these ones should actually work i don't know why they don't i have the ability to load this stuff up myself so i will utilize the auto load to save time only 700 liters of onions and 700 liters of cucumbers not much at all i guess each pallet 700 liters that came out to 999 dollars wow that's pretty interesting wonder if it's still like best sell price and look at over here. This one's even with the August price. And here it's $1 more than the October price. So it's still up there, but it's getting low. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the spawning on those pallets. And I won't worry about selling off any more of those. But this episode, we got to sell off some onions and cucumbers. I'm pretty excited about that. Well, that is all the time I got for this episode. We are up to over $63,000 now. And I think I got some plans for that money next episode. I did mention it earlier of what kind of production I want to add. Let me know down in the comments if y'all remember that. And it's probably going to come in next episode, maybe. Also, I'm starting to think, I'm getting tired of all this tree work. I would like to do something else. So maybe some mowings coming up in the future too. Don't know yet. We'll see where we get there. I don't got this stuff planned out 100%. But either way, I just really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. Really do appreciate it. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. They're always welcome. Very much needed and very much appreciated. And until next time, y'all take care.